hello everyone and welcome to neat mentor in this video we are going to discuss very important thing what uh, you should do after the examination now exam is over so then what is the next process so first thing we'll discuss like what are the documents you should keep ready the complete list of documents okay counseling process uh, will understand these are the packages okay and you can subscribe our channel if you are new here you can join our telegram group it will be very useful because you will keep getting all the updates you can join our whatsapp group link is available in the description of the video website you can reach up to for all the packages details and ebooks for all states okay this is our portal access where you will get the closing rank for all the states okay and uh, this is how it will look like just example for mcc it will have quota institute state course fee structure stipend bond uh, bond years penalty number of beds last year cut off and 2022 cut off for last two years okay for all the states for all the categories you have the option to select the quota select the course filter from categories different rounds and all so this portal access is the leftmost side counseling a smart portal access which will cost you 3000 you get this access and it will valid for one year throughout the counseling whenever the counseling update comes you will get the update here and uh, the current ongoing cutoff will also be updated for all the states and national level counseling for dnb diploma everything now coming to the point what you should do and how you should uh, uh, analyze your score and how you can know about the prediction of the predicted colleges so process after NEET PG examination first of all watch this video until end then only it will be uh, beneficial or fruitful to you so first result will declare when the result will get declared next week probably it takes around 10 days time and this year this year also it will be more or less like last year it will be declared within 10 year, 10 days okay and uh, before result is declared you must have the clarity on the branch that you want to pursue okay because branch is not nothing like uh, uh, mbbs okay mbbs was the basic degree and branch that you are going to select will continue forever but if you select some something like general surgery or general medicine where you can do the super specialization then you will have the further uh, specialization in the same branch okay so branch selection is important and then counseling schedule will be uh, published okay for mcc first it will come and then its brochure and then for the states it will be published you have to do the registration okay for the counseling whichever counseling you want to participate and how you decide which which counseling you should participate we'll discuss in this video after registration during registration you have to pay the security deposit if it's applicable to you and uh, then you have to fill the choice preference and uh, during the choice preference you must have your budget that okay this is the budget you should uh, uh, select the colleges up to then you will go uh, get the you have to finalize your course which course you want to go for not branches course like md or ms or dnb or nb diploma so which course you want to go for then result will be declared after you fill the choices and lock the choices and then you have to do reporting to the college this is the uh, roughly process for all the counseling whether it's a state level or national level now coming to branch selection why it's important there are multiple factors which will play a role in the branch selection like your interest your passion okay are you passionate towards uh, surgical or like you are interested more in like medicinal branches okay you don't want any kind of surgery you want to avoid like uh, blood and uh, cutting that kind of things okay uh, second factor is money how much money you want okay how much growth in the career third factor is work life balance do you want money only or you want to have like leisure time so that work life balance may not be available in all the branches so accordingly we have to choose it because you have to live the life uh, you are becoming a doctor to live your life not to just become a doctor okay so that's kind of like resource 
becoming a doctor kind of resource so you should not sacrifice your life you have to live your life and you have to enjoy your life so you must select the department according to uh, your suitability and which suits you okay uh, depending on the demand okay which uh, which uh, branch has more demand but the demand might increase or reduce but there are some core branches like uh, general medicine surgery uh, orthopedics pediatrics gynecology these are core branches okay so the demand will go up and down but it will never vanish okay it will be there for forever saturation some of the branches might be having saturation uh, more more number of doctors are there like in orthopedics and uh, in uh, in ophthalmology there is saturation in general surgery if you just go for general surgery without super specialization there is saturation so wherever there is saturation the demand will reduce okay and if you have a kind of like family background you have family uh, your hospital set up from your family then you can choose particular uh, branch so that you can uh, get the support from your family and you don't have to uh, struggle that much okay compromise with the college quality in case you have to compromise with the college quality in order to take the same branch where your passion belongs to then that's good op option to go with the, your passionate branch okay so in terms of like uh, selection of college and selection of branch i would suggest that you go with the branch that you prefer okay now coming to some other important points okay create preference of branches first thing you should do is you must be having uh, your preferred branch list it is possible that you want a government college but uh, you are looking for radiology or like general medicine but your rank doesn't come up to the mark to get the government college neither you are getting dnb okay so you must have some backup option so that you can get dnb or government college like you can go for pediatrics you can go for emergency medicine so such kind of backup option you must have in case uh, you want to take admission so that list you need to have right away you can't wait for the result because there is no relation with the result and your preferred branches options finalize the course whether you want to go for everybody would like to go for mdms then second priority is dnb and then uh, do you have diploma in your option because after diploma two years another uh, post dnb post diploma dnb you need to do so you want to go for that finalize the states and cities which cities and states you are comfortable with finalize that also suppose you are from south india and uh, you have language issue you don't want to go for rajasthan uttarakhand up such states himachal pradesh then uh, you should confine your like options because unless only you confine your options you uh, can't filter out the colleges you can't apply for all uh, 300 400 colleges okay uh, finalize total budget okay, in case you are not getting government college you are not getting dnb you are not interested for diploma or you are not getting diploma also good institutes then you have to go for private colleges and then finalize your budget this is my maximum budget and out of that maximum budget uh, we will predict you like which sort of colleges you can get in which different states okay how much fee structure stipend everything so you can calculate calculate the effective budget and accordingly uh, we can uh, finalize on the like top 10 colleges so you are through the counseling process if you are getting the top preference uh, which is practical based on your score and other factors then that's the best result okay uh, probability analysis it depends on seat uh, availability it de depends on your eligibility to get the college in particular state through the state level counseling uh, probability analysis will also have like uh, how good is that college how is the department there based on the college finalize the uh, which comes counseling you need to apply suppose you finalize like, okay go one good college in uh, rajasthan mahatma gandhi jaipur one good college from dean university dim university uh, one not uh, like five dim university colleges you finalize based on your budget and uh, one college suppose you are coming from minority it is in a bihar state okay and one college may be in karnataka through private college other from up so these colleges you are finalizing these are the 
good things good colleges that you can get in your rank but this is the most preferred according to you you have to finalize that and then you have to plan like okay you need to fill all these state counselings at that at a time um, you should not participate in more than four counselings that will unnecessarily create more confusion because you are not having good plan then only you are participating in multiple more than four counselings and it will definitely uh, have like high chance that you can result in uh, losing your security deposit because you might get result in multiple counselings in the round two and uh, you have to leave one okay so how to balance multiple counselings that's also very good uh, skill that you need to have okay in order to find out like best possible seat so you need to know like how to balance the multiple uh, counselings plan the counselling approach to get the top preferred option these all things we provide in our services because based on the experience you will know like how to do the counseling so first time you might do hit and trial and when you learn so by the time you learn you know that okay somebody who was having better sorry poor rank than you already got the college but you are still struggling because you didn't know that okay you you can apply there also so other points like we should which you should have in your mind like hidden fee uh, how is the environment there in the college how toxic environment and how is the department patient flow uh, hands on opportunities mostly in is more important in surgical branches infrastructure related branch like for uh, radio diagnosis how, how good are the devices like mri machines how updated it is okay for and how much is service bond okay stipend and how much calculated risk you should take in case you get some college in the first round and you don't take it uh, for the sake of getting better college in the second round can you take that calculative risk or you should join and then go for upgradation so it's all subjective it's, nobody can tell you like okay you should join and go ahead uh, it all depends on like which branch you're looking for where you got, have got the seat and how much is your rank how, how better result you can expect in the second round or further rounds choice filling is the most important part other important uh, points related to counseling like you have done mbbs from some college and you are getting state quota benefits and how beneficial it is state quota benefits doesn't come as like boon in uh, all the scores okay if you have good score in uh, then you can get state quota benefit in karnataka you can get seat under the general merit quota in the 7 lakhs okay but other candidates will get is the same seat in 12.5 lakhs okay so there is a lot of difference in that budget but you need to have good score at also in case you have just 350 then you can't expect any kind of like a state quota benefit open state counseling there are more than 12 open states okay like Uttarakhand, Bihar, UP, uh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab okay uh, many uh, Pandacherry okay Karnataka so you can apply for that but should not apply for all the, all of them okay you should filter maximum four counselings to apply the best four counselings through which you can get the uh, good seats okay security deposit another factor because you need to have like 10 to uh, around 8 to 10 lakhs for security deposit out of your budget because those uh, deposit will be returned to you after three to four months okay so that much extra amount you need to have in case your score is low and you are trying for multiple counselings and in every counselling you have to deposit two lakhs of security to bodies. Eligibility criteria must be uh, clear about the eligibility criteria in case somebody is from Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and this is state their eligibility criteria is a little uh, different and uh, amount of percentage of seat you are eligible uh, you might not, be, might not be eligible depending on your criteria okay permitted seats recognized seats, these all things uh, play a role uh, now coming about documents at the end okay so you need to have a lot me later during reporting which you'll get after result you need to have your neat pg admit card score card aadhar card pan card mbbs uh, certificate passes certificate and mark sheet for first second and third professional examinations internship completion attempt certificate somewhere they will ask attempt certificate also mbbs degree mbbs passing certificate class 10th certificate class 10th uh, uh, mark sheet class 12th uh, passing certificate class 12th mark sheet okay permanent uh, mbbs registration pr okay and uh, in case you are in in service noc medical fitness certificates in maharashtra they particularly ask 
declaration that you are not going under any post graduation course domicile certificate migration transfer certificate caste certificate is applicable okay disability certificate and uh, recent photograph gap certificate uh, for fmg they need to have like fmg pass certificate and the certificate from dean or principal that your mbbs college is recognized by mci so such type of certificates are there and for nri uh, specific, specific these all details we'll talk uh, separately but let me list out all the certificate mbc certificate you need to have for the sponsor and uh, family tree and uh, document uh, claiming that the sponsor is nri valid passport visa relationship with the nri that is family tree and notarized affidavit from the sponsor that he will sponsor the entire education for the candidate these all certificate you need to have for the nri okay so that's all from my side i hope this video would have helped you in uh, figuring out like what you should do uh, after the examination and how complex or how it is for how easy it is for you okay if you don't do uh, planning in right way then you are going to suffer later which can't be uh, fixed up okay so uh, in case you think that you can be beneficial with our paid service you can talk to us and you can get it on our website thanks for watching have a nice day